Okay, on, on, on with regards to the Declaration of Human Rights, definitely. Uh, it, it should include uh, digital rights, uh, rights online. Um, the, the, and, and with the internet, you know, we've got to go back to the core basics. And I think we're at risk of a, a two-tier uh, internet, uh, one that's going to be driven by corporate and one that's going to be driven to serve uh, humanity. And it, it, it's dangerous. Uh, we, we need an open internet. We, we, we need an internet for all. Uh, we, we don't need an internet where we're driven to certain sites and certain pages at the cost of uh, other information. You know, people should choose how they want to use the internet, how they want to access it, and, and what they want to get out of the internet. Uh, the A4IA, or the Web Foundation, recently launched a contract for the web. And this actually states some of the core fundamentals and uh, the responsibilities of different stakeholders, such as government, uh, the, the, the consumer civil society, etc. And you know, the, the, these are the real core principles that we need to uphold. And all the stakeholders in the internet need to, to live up to those ideals. If it doesn't happen, I, I, I think we've got quite a bleak future. Uh, we, we still have it within our power to uh, bring that change and, and ensure that the internet is for all and the internet is good for humanity. Uh, I, I think we're at a crossroads here. And if we don't make the right decisions today, it's going to have a massive impact on us and uh, on our children in the future.